Hey guys, welcome back. This is a part two. You may notice that my pets are very, very different and they're very high level compared to part one. The thing is, I've done a lot of recording, but my mic kept messing up while I was doing all of this and I didn't notice. So I've lost a bunch of footage and I just didn't want to post that, you know, and I don't know if my mic right now at the moment is performing as perfect as it used to be. But I am going to be getting a new mic. I just want to inform you guys the best tips real quick. Try to speed through it, but it will take some time. Um, once you start, automatically go to your daily spin. Obviously, you know that. Get this. Um, it really depends on your luck. But if you get... Um, today, I got, I think, this. If you get the orange orb, orange thing, the thing you want to do automatically is save that. Wait for the next area. Go to the highest pet. And I would say um, try to defeat it, catch it. Then you just want to like mass level that guy up. That's what I somewhat did with the Snowlar, and it was helped me a lot, but I wanted to make sure to get my main all the way up, and I just grinded them out, especially for the last area because um, that I, I've previously made it to. Um, he helps me out a lot. I do have footage of me beating the other one, but I just want to give you guys a tips real quick, and I'm going to get into that. <laughs> um, once you get 2,000 gems uh, from doing these achievements, make sure to check your achievements when you're starting off. You get a lot from that. Um, you definitely want to hit this guy up, because once you spin one of these... You could get something random that's been released already and it can honestly be really good like this blue or nor i've never gotten this before but let's check him out let's check what stats he has and the stats are really good especially star stats they give you really good luck i don't know why but like look at this two five stars for health and agility agility is what you really want for um uh, five star health and attack as well um it's a light and thunder Amazing stats. Honestly, I'm going to use him as well. Last one I got was this as well. I think it's 100% 5 star or something for both of these. Uh, or at least for two stats, which is sort of crazy, but worth it. So that's something you definitely want to do. Um, especially when you're starting, one thing is, um, instead of coming to this, if you have at least 200 gems, something like that, save it up. You want to head over to the black market guy, or what they call it, the profiter. I call it black market. This guy, you'll find him in like left corners of every entrance, mostly. I don't think in the seventh or eighth entrance he appears, but you could buy gem. Or I'm sorry, you could buy abilities from this guy. These little like crystals. Um, make sure you go for C plus abilities, especially because you don't want to waste D plus on things that you could easily already get, um, unless you want to. But de definitely go for C plus and make sure you mash these up. That's the only way, I guess. I don't know why it's like that, but it's like that. Um, then you go into here, go to your skills. You can use them, compatible with certain people. I would use it on that guy, but I don't really want to. It looks like my goalie hard, I think, has it already. You can't use any of these abilities on him. Unlucky. But definitely do that, guys. Um, that's going to help you a lot. I'm going to go show you guys things you could do. You should do, at least, once you reach these area areas. What I did from the Black Market guys, I actually bought a lot. And... It's very random, but I combined a bunch of them together and see I could get a B. It says in the middle of B, so I could get something that's probably a B ability, which is really good. Steel wing and steel wing that means what? That's a metal type ability, right? Let's check over here. Who can I use it on? I could use it on goalie hard, and this is actually really good on goalie hard because I have nothing good on that guy. So let's uh oh that's something else. Let's go in here. I think this is where. I, sorry, I keep forgetting these things. Uh. If I go to goalie hard now, if I'm correct, uh, I'm everywhere, I'm everywhere. Goalie hard. Wait, do I have to click on him in here? Oh, I don't know why that's a thing. It wasn't letting me do that before, but I have steel wing here. And I could drag this ability and boom. Steel wing is 135 compared to everything else. Looks like I do the most damage to this guy. So that's really good now. My stats on this guy is horrible. Don't do what I just did unless you have gems to spend on stats. But yeah, that's for that. Um, now let's head out to the other area. Oh, I could redeem this. I need these X evolution cubes. It's really random, but make sure to save a bunch of those up and only use them on the people you actually want to use them, like your main um, that you get off, off the start. Uh, this is the evolution area. As I was saying right now, make sure to save that. Uh, you should get a good amount off the start from joining and just um, getting those daily rewards. But yeah, as I was saying, you can evolve here which I think you should. You're gonna need 100. I didn't know you needed 100 to go for second evolution. That's crazy. But yeah, make sure you catch them at their second evolution um, so you don't have to spend as much. It's the smartest thing to do, especially when you're spending gold. Um, I am gonna make a lot of videos uh, talking about best way to get gems, 
um, and then just me like spending like a million coins uh, just to entertain you guys on this game a little more I hope you guys play this game uh, this is the pet home I actually don't know what this does itself I haven't checked it out yet uh, okay let's see it's just like um it doesn't say what it does oh I, that's just storage I'm dumb so you just store your guys in there here full storage uh, the other thing is guys get the 2x um, pass like 2 XP boost um, I'd say for how much it costs, I don't remember, but it was roughly, oh, it doesn't tell you, does it? It was roughly, I think, like 200 Robux around there, but whatever it is, I'm telling you, it is worth it, especially leveling up. It takes a lot, um, unless you just always um, farm off the top levels in each area already. Now, um, this is the place where you could spend 300 coin, or sorry, 300 gems to change the stats of anything. So someone I want to change the stats of, at least for health-wise, is this guy. Please give me something that... Yeah, yeah, my luck's not insane. At least my luck will be good on defense, right? Uh, no. Well, yeah. It's it's a 50-50, guys. You'll get something good, you might not. Uh, Alright, guys, that's it for tips and tricks. I'm going to just, like, skip real quick to where I'm battling the trainer. Uh, what I grinded over there. And show you guys what's at the next area. Hope you guys stay. I am back. As you can see, a lot of levels have changed, especially my main Q pet, Oro. Um, level 135 now. Previously, I think it was level 115, something around that. But let's just say it took more time than I expected compared to the other times to grind out levels. This took me around two hours, and I'm praying this time because I've done two takes already, thinking I've, you know, been like, I'm strong enough to take on the, the trainer this time, but. Uh, I failed in those attempts. I also got my snow layer to level 115. I got caught myself this um, goalie bar. Um, but on the second t take, he didn't really do that good. Um, the level 120 is what I keep getting stuck on. And the reason is he has like some crazy ability or it's just his evolution that boosts him up. He probably has some good star stats as well that I can't see. Which I sort of wish they would add some features where you could click and like check out the stats. Just like some of Pokemon has like that. Um, there's a lot of things I think I suggest for this game to add. But if anything, they're probably going to be adding in the future of the updates in this game. Which I hope at least. If not, then that's fine. I guess like at some point they will. I'm really trying to get in contact with the developers of this game. But I think they vary in um, like not, I guess, talking to content creators, etc. and all that. But... Hmm. Their Discord server was a little messed up when I joined that. There was a lot of stuff going on, so I left. But I am going to possibly join back and talk to one of the developers, because I do want to try, you know, suggesting some things. And if you guys have anything they suggest, drop it in the comments. I want to see what your guys' thoughts are about this game. Uh, a lot of things are going, you know, uh, crazy about this game that I keep finding out about, like, these skill features they have. Especially with that changing star stats, that thing's just amazing. Costs a lot though. I I, I spent 3k um while um while grinding, and I did not get any luck. I was trying to increase the defense on this guy. It looks like I'm doing good though. I've gotten up to level 120, half half HP already. Before I would not even hit him that much. I'm gonna have to rely. He did get a flame wheel in, but it didn't do any damage. Don't know what that's about. Guess that makes sense. Um, we're going to go with Snowlar. Hopefully he has enough HP to at least get him to a one-shot. We're going to do automatically a damage boost. It's only five levels down. Okay, that's good. He should be able to handle this, right? There's no way him being fully ev ev uh, evolutioned beats him at full HP. Because they're both full evolu evolutions. <laughs> can't believe I'm stuttering on that word. Alright, I think he is going to get him at, like, red HP, like, near death. Oh, wait, we might defeat him. Yeah, we're definitely defeating him. Let's go, guys, finally. <laughs> Let's go. Let's check out the other area, and I will see you guys on part 3, though. Um, Part 3, I'm really going to explain how you guys can get gems faster, I guess. Because I've seen a lot of people actually have DM'd me on Discord about, you know, being, like, wondering how I am keep getting gems faster. Like, I'm already over here at 2,000, that's probably because of defeating the trainer. That's one other thing, defeating trainers, I guess. Wow. Oh, wow. So this is where you get below pard. Oh, dude, this guy looks sick. Dude, this is cool. Wait, let's check out what this is real quick. 
I wonder what tier that is. I think that's C tier. Ah, oh, choosing an cube cub. Oh, they're called cube cubs. Okay. Spend diamonds to reset its nature randomly. Reset nature. I didn't even know they had natures. That's something new. All right. So I don't know what natures do yet, but I will explain in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe. See you guys later.